Welcome to episode 4 of Fast Day Summaries and think Jeremy says to do Rob thanks for joining me on the series. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, I'll go ahead and summarize the lecture. Uh this lecture covers three things: natural language processing, tabular data, actually four things: collaborative filtering and embeddings. Natural language processing, they talk about how uh, a research from Fast Day actually and it has been featured in the New York Times, the ULM fit uh, model. which uh, is stored to us through sentiment analysis on the imdb data sets one of the famous data sets if you're not familiar with it and we learn how to do positive or negative review classification using the algorithm followed by that we start we take a first look at tabular data how to use categorical and continuous variables and how to use fast.ai fa- sorry fastai.tabular which is again a module in the fastai library with uh, tab, for tabular data as you might expect finally how collaborative filtering models can be built using similar ideas to the ones i've already mentioned and we use that concepts those concepts to build a movie recommender based on your ratings for movies using again one of the famous data sets i think i i i've got it covered yeah covered it perfectly let's hop into the advice let's do it Uh so Jeremy gets asked what are 10% of cases where you would not use neural nets since he's such a big neural net proponent and he says you may as well try both uh try random forest and try a neural net so there's your go try it for the episode yeah uh, <laughs> secondly uh use these terms and in the example he gives is parameters layers activations and use them accurately uh what he means there is that these terms do matter and getting a good understanding of what these kind of base terms mean and how they all fit together will really help you to understand the higher level concepts that build on top of them. If you're reading a paper and they're talking about terms like activations, layers and parameters and you're kind of fuzzy on what it means, it's going to be really hard for you to understand uh, you know, a complex academic paper. Although um, don't don't go out and start reading papers right away stick to the code and it it might help you navigate twitter the machine learning twitter world or or some blog posts better Yeah exactly don't do either extreme also don't go deep into i have to memorize every definition Yep uh really just try and keep coming back to these base terms and saying do i really understand what this is and if the answer is no and it will be for a long time uh <laughs> what don't i understand about it and just try and pick a little piece out of it and uh make it a little clearer for yourself right um final piece of advice is if you're doing nlp stuff make sure you use all of the text you have including unlabeled validation data uh to train your model because there's no reason not to i'm not super experienced with nlp so sanyam i know you've done more uh can you elaborate on this sure uh so i think this is in context with the imdb data set where you have I don't remember the exact number but half of the text data is unlabeled and ideally when you're training a model you only use the labeled data set but how ULM fit works is you create a language model and if you're creating a language model what you're essentially doing is learning the structure of the language using neural nets or deep learning so there's there's no reason you wouldn't want to include the validation data set because I would assume unless it's a problem out there in the wild that and at least for th- this data set it's it's a standard problem and it will have a nice structure so it will help your model understand english language the nuances a little bit better since you have more data and that's that's true to any deep learning model yeah i think that's a great explanation and i think jeremy mentions in the lecture that they did try this and it worked so go try, try it see if see if it works right and see <laughs> with that Check out the next episode for lesson 5 summaries. Thanks again Rob for joining me on this one. Oh, thank you. If you like the show, please subscribe and tune in each week to Chai Time Data Science.